Hi dog lover, ever come home after a long day and your dog throws you a party like you've been gone for years? It makes you wonder, do they actually miss us when we're not around? The science on this is still kind of unclear, but in this video, we're gonna dig deep into the world of canine attachment. So stick around to find out. One, understanding dog attachment. We all know dogs are loyal companions, but do they really get attached to us emotionally? Let's look at what studies say and see how dogs see their relationship with us. Attachment theory. This made by a psychologist named John Bowlby says that we form deep connections with those who care for us, making us feel safe and secure, especially when life gets tough. This idea applies to both humans and our dogs. Research on dog attachment. Has your dog ever greeted you at the door like you won the lottery? Or maybe they stare longingly out the window when you leave. Turns out, there's science behind your dog eyes. Researchers found that dogs act a lot like babies around their caregivers. They want to be close. They get sad when you're gone and light up when you return. This shows that dogs don't just see us as food dispensers. They form real emotional attachments. Human and dog bond. The relationship between people and dogs is special and has many sides. Dogs give us company, comfort, and a reason to care for them. In return, we make sure they're healthy and happy, which makes both of us feel good. Attachment and well-being. It's good for both of you when you and your dog are close. Dogs that feel secure with you are more confident, less worried, and can handle tough situations better. This strong bond helps you and your dog feel better overall. Understanding the nature of dog attachment allows us to appreciate the depth of the bond we share with our pups. Two, the oxytocin. Oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone, is important for forming close bonds, not just in people, but also in dogs. Let's see how this hormone affects the emotional connection between you and your dog. How oxytocin works. Oxytocin is a hormone made by the brain and released by a gland. It's linked to making strong connections, trust, and being a good parent in both humans and a pet. How dogs make oxytocin. Studies have found that when dogs and their owners spend time together, both of them make more oxytocin. For instance, petting, playing, or just looking at your dog can make your brain release oxytocin. How oxytocin affects us. When oxytocin levels are high, it's linked to feeling less stressed, being in a better mood, and feeling happier. In dogs, having more oxytocin is connected to having better times with you and feeling safer. The way oxytocin works between you and your dog is good for both. When you and your pup do nice things together, the oxytocin levels go up, making us feel closer and more trusting of each other. Knowing how oxytocin works in the bond between you and your dog helps us understand why we feel so close to our dogs. 3. Separation. Anxiety. Lots of dogs feel really anxious when you go away. We'll talk about how to tell if your dog has separation anxiety and what you can do to help them feel better when they're alone. What is separation anxiety? Separation anxiety is when dogs get upset while you are away from them. It's more than just missing you, it's a deep fear of being alone. Signs of separation anxiety. Common signs of separation anxiety include excessive barking or howling, destructive behavior, like chewing furniture or scratching doors, pacing, drooling and urinating or defecating indoors. Causes of separation. Anxiety. Separation anxiety can happen for different reasons, like a big change in your dog's routine, something scary happening, or not getting to meet people and other dogs when they were a puppy. It's also more common in dogs that have been adopted or rescued. Prevention. To stop separation anxiety before it starts, you should get your dog involved in socialization when they're young keep a regular schedule, and slowly get them used to being alone. If your dog already has separation anxiety, you can help by making sure they have a safe and cozy place to be, giving them lots of exercise and things to do. Understanding separation anxiety and its impact on your dog's well-being is crucial for providing the support and care they need. Four, the power of scent. Dogs have a good sense of smell, and your smell can make them feel better when you're not around. Now, let's talk about how giving your dog things that smell like you can help them feel less anxious and more connected to you. Why smell matters. We all know that. Dogs use their sense of smell to understand what's going on around them. 
Your smell is something your dog knows and likes, and it can help them feel less worried when you're not there. Leaving familiar items. Leaving things with your scent, such as a worn t-shirt or blanket, can provide a sense of security for your dog. These familiar scents can help ease their anxiety and make them feel more relaxed in your absence. How smell helps. Your smell is really important for making your bond with your dog stronger. If your dog connects your smell with good things, like playing or cuddling, it can make your bond even better. Creating a comforting environment. In addition to leaving familiar items with your scent, creating a comfortable and safe environment for your dog is essential. Providing a cozy bed, toys, and a quiet space can help your dog feel more at ease when you're not around. So, do dogs actually miss you when you're gone? The answer is a resounding yes. Dogs form strong emotional bonds with you and experience separation anxiety when apart. Understanding the science behind canine attachment can help you provide the best care for your dog. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your own experiences in the comments below. See you in the next one.